Hello and welcome to another Constantine the sketchbook drawing um, as opposed to the paintings I've done in there yeah anyway so today I'm going to be doing pen and ink um, using the inks I got from the artful box which you should have seen the unboxing for by now I hope you have um, this is this isn't yeah I've had to cut a load of bits where my camera was having some issues with uh, focusing which we all have from time to time I'm sure so if you see it jump forward a bit it's not because I'm cheating or anything it's just because it was doing my head in a little bit uh, and I thought it might do your head in as well you know equal opportunity head doing in so yeah, so this is just starting off with a bit of a silhouette, just starting with plain black. Uh, although you can do a lot with black and shading and stuff. Um, what you'll see there is, oh I'm being a bit rough with that nib, uh, it's a soft nib. So what it, that means is I can do thick and thin lines with it. So if I press gently, it does quite thin lines, but when I press more firmly the end of the nib opens up a little bit so you can actually do quite a thick line it's very good for doing calligraphy um, I quite like them for sketching because it means you can have a bit of variance in your line width as you go along rather than having to you know add bits on or to or wipe bits out um, and this is actually kind of taking after the uh, blah, blah, blah. the video I did the Constantina sketchbook video I did of, of just the dog on its own so it's kind of that that trope where something seems like one thing but it's sh its shadow reveals it's something else or it's it's uh, presence or whatever so yeah so I'm doing the basic bit here so almost like this bit is that bit's pretty much going to be all black and white or is it we shall see uh, but yeah so I've got a sort of shadow an elongated shadow here and the idea is to have it sort of because it's a double page spread it kind of invites things being done in two so like pairs of things which I quite like so I've got here the shadow coming out of the of the Antichrist. If you know good omens, you'll know what I'm talking about. Um, I don't know. I mean, I, I kind of... It's been such a long time since I, I sort of started this sketchbook. And it's kind of weird to have, for me, it's quite weird to have a sketchbook that's designed to have just one thing, you know, one concept. Ge generally, when I sketchbook, it's, it's just whatever's going on in my brain at that particular time. So actually keeping it to one subject is quite unusual for me. And it's quite, so you can see as I'm drawing there I'm making the lines thinner and thicker it's really nice um, way of doing it and adding a bit of interest in this uh, unfortunately the things I'm using as inkwells are not really the right size or shape they're little egg cups so they're a little bit wide they're quite deep and wide for what I need I need something sort of I mean the depth is okay but the width and of course they have no cover on so I, I'm trying not to use too much ink any one time because I don't want to waste it. This is me endeavouring to make give it some sort of perspective by making the uh, front horns bigger than the back horns but still trying to make it look as if they're symmetrical-ish. And I love drawing monsters. It's one of the things I really enjoy. 
I don't know why. When I was a kid, I used to try drawing people all the time, but I don't know. I like the idea of the concept of like people being the real monsters or which I know is really tropey and a bit sad but it's always weird watching these back I have to admit because when I'm doing them I'm sort of not really thinking in the same way I'm not thinking in a sort um, necessarily a linear way when I'm doing it it's not like one thing after another after another after another it's like and it's not even like copying an image out of my brain it's it's not like my brain is protecting protecting projecting an image for me to copy down it's very much a sort of combination of how it, it feels to do it and what I'm using to do it and the kind of imagery I'm going for the kind of feeling I'm trying to but it's it's very much like all the thinking is done before or after I've done it it's while I'm actually doing it it's kind of like it's very much a feeling process which sounds really poncy but it's kind of you know what what does this line make me feel I'm not even thinking that much it's it's just this feels right so I'm doing this right now this feels right so I'm doing this right you know and it's just a progression of that sort of yep that feels about right that feels about right something may feel wrong so I'll change it later um, but I you know I carry on as long as it feels correct to me I don't know how it feels to other people obviously but you kind of hope you evoke similar sort of feelings in other people not necessarily that it's good or bad that it's just I mean in this case it's supposed to be I suppose it's supposed to be partially scary but it's also about this character that's coming into a certain amount of power but there's all the bits that come with power that are no fun and it's still a child so he wants to have fun so it's like well this is cool and all but is this really you know and like all children it's all about potential as well because you know no one's fixed when they're born just because someone was born and other people think they're supposed to be at ABC doesn't mean they're not going to turn out to be XYZ you know so there's kind of a slightly it's scary but it's not you know it's supposed to contain all the usual sort of, oh it's got big teeth it's this monstrous thing but at the same time I kind of was feeling a bit I don't know kind of melancholy I suppose it's sort of I suppose it's that it's about that moment in everyone's life where they have to figure out whether or not they're just going to be what everyone expects them to be or whether they're actually going to be what they want to be or what they feel is right for them but that hasn't quite happened yet in this particular image but it's sort of growing there so there's potential blah, blah, blah. try again there's a potential for evil but there's also potential for something else I think that's kind of why I gave it those sort of antlers rather than or at least I've started off with antlers rather than horn horns because it's kind of you know we've just come out of Christmas 
and you know generally animals with antlers are, are sort of you know they're seen as quite mysterious and quite unusual but quite you know um, the symbolic of something that's not that could be scary but is and is definitely other but doesn't have to actually be any of the other things it could be part of a magical moment or it could be part of something else I think at this point I decided to put more conventional horns on but that's just because I felt they needed something else but I quite like these because it's I splodged there a bit as well. Uh, I quite like the way I've done these horns, to be honest with you, because they're kind of... Because they're angled down like that rather than up, they kind of have the impression of sort of... Um, dog ears, you know, when they're kind of a bit sad or a bit... Uh, you know when dogs get ashamed and they sort of droop? Kind of like that. And also, you know, it is the Antichrist and his dog, who happens to be called Dog as well. Yeah, so. And as I say, the, the thumb brace is a bit of a nuisance, but uh, I spilled coffee on it today, so it's in the wash at the minute. But when I recorded this, it's not, it wasn't in the wash, but. I don't know why I told you that. You don't need to know that. Um, so this is me deciding whether or not I would add colour. As you can tell by the length of the video, I added colour. I quite like doing black and white sketching, but even though this was supposed to be quite a quick squetch, ooh, a squetch, that sounds horrible. Yeah, squetch. Yeah. Someone somewhere between a squelch and a wretch anyway uh what's to say color yes color 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 even though i like doing black and white sketching and it is lots of fun and you can do a lot of stuff with black and white sketching i just i keep banging the camera there uh i just i don't know i just wanted something a bit more i just wanted to use the colors really uh, I mean, as I say, I I do these things and go for this feels right, this feels right, this seems right, uh, that seems okay, and just go from there really. So it's not going to be like fully coloured in. However, it will definitely have colour. Apart from anything else, the red that came uh, with that artful set is just a really nice red. Uh, which one is it? Is it crimson or I can't remember if it's crimson or scarlet. Uh, the really nice red is scarlet. It's a scarlet red. So a very red red. The sort of red of femme fatales dresses and lipstick and blood and lots of symbolism if you're into that sort of thing. And who doesn't like a little bit of symbolism, eh? Yeah. Heaven forfend anything should just be what they what it is in front of you. That would be fun. Be boring, but it'd be Yeah. Uh, so yeah. And of course everyone associates when you got demons or hell or what have you. Uh, red is very much a uh, a thing, an evil. Yeah, because it used to be uh, that black was for good, white was for purity, and red was for evil. Which is, I think is why vicars and whatnot are, sp are supposed to wear black because it's supposed to be I don't know I don't know 
religion isn't my forte. That's because most of the things I know about religion are a bit <laughs> dodgy. But then again, whatever gets you through the day, you know what I mean? Uh, yeah, no, it's just such a nice red. I don't know what I've done with my red. I've got a red pen holder that I was using in one of the other videos. For some reason, I couldn't find it, so I'm using this purple one, which isn't quite as comfortable to use. It's slightly thinner. It's amazing the difference. It, well, I say it's slightly thinner. It's actually more equal all the way up, but the bit where you grasp is thinner and that does make a huge difference. Sometimes that can be good. Uh, sometimes it's just a pain. And there's of course there's a point when you're holding a pen where it, yeah, it can be too big. Which is probably a euphemism for something else, but there you go. Or probably some sort of Freudian thing. Uh, but yeah. Put red in there as well. Although, of course, technically speaking, the Antichrist is not the great dragon, or whatever it is, whatever the proper terminology is. Uh, but who doesn't like a bit of implied dragoniness? Who doesn't want to breathe fire? Am I right? Yeah, I just wanted to keep this one pretty small and simple. No, no sort of, you know, the environment is implied rather than explicit. So that's why you got the just that little bit of black underneath it the little sort of shadow underneath where they are to imply that there's a flat surface they're walking along um, no, I say walking along the kids actually on a bike in my mind I don't know if it actually looks like it's on a bike but that, that was what I imagined kid on a bike dog trotting along next to it uh, an implied demonic destiny you know, the usual, usual kids stuff. The other problem I have, of course, is that I have no patience, so I never wait for any layer of anything to dry before I stick on the next layer. That tends to get a bit um, muddled, mixed, a bit bleeding, which again, probably appropriate. What am I waiting for now? I don't know what I'm doing now. Just have a bit of a gap there. I didn't notice this big gap when I was going through the video just now, noticing it, but you know. Ah, uh, yeah. Of course, the kid has blonde hair, but that doesn't really work. I've already laid down the black. So I've given him sort of a, a Gloria. Which is not a halo but it is a sort of light going around the head you see it a lot on pictures of saints and whatnot you just see that golden and everyone calls it halo but it's a halo yeah halo everyone calls it a halo but it's not halo a halo is different it's in a different orientation but it's a glory so the implication of course that yeah, on one hand, he is the son of the devil, but on the other hand, I mean, just because your parent, I mean, the the sins of the father and all that sort of business, and also I've always thought it was a bit hypocritical in that everyone's like, oh, the devil, the devil. It's like, yeah, but God's omnipotent, omniscient, omnipresent. Uh, so uh, he kind of must have wanted that to happen because you know that's what being all knowing and all powerful and all present is about you would know he created it to be like that but then maybe that's a bit simplistic 
After all, I'm sure he doesn't watch everyone go to the loo. Probably just a f few select people. Not that I believe in all that business. But it's funny to speculate. Oh, well, I don't know about funny. It's interesting to speculate. In X hypothetical situation, would Y be the case? I don't know what I'm doing here. Just adding bits of colour. I don't know why. I don't think it becomes any clearer. It's just very much a dodgy outline. I will be adding patches to the dog because it's that kind of weird Jack Russell terrier type of mutt. And was I decided that the that the bicycliness of the bicycle didn't look bicycly enough, which is very me. I have to say, is that a dot on the paper there? It is, isn't it? <sighs> tut tut. bit of light shading going on there. Unfortunately it kind of makes the horns look a bit like croissants. Although they may be croissants because you know a tasty high carb snack when you're doing a bit of light world destroying. I could see there being a temptation there. And who doesn't, who doesn't love a bit of temptation? I know I do. I do sometimes worry about my brain. Again, another big gap. What the heck am I doing? Mind you, that's a question I ask myself on the daily. Did I keep it? Did I keep it simple? Did I keep it as just black, red, and yellow, or did I mess up and start adding other colours? I can't even remember now. I mean really I should have kept it really minimal. The colour balance on this camera is sweet. It's the life cam again. Because the posh camera that Kevin got can only record a, a small number of minutes. I'll do something like this. This is way beyond its thing. Which is a shame, because it, it does take a nice picture. But hey, I'm trying to get a bit of orange in there by the look of it. I'm trying to make it look a bit more scary. Oh, what have I done there? Yeah, it's kind of an evil reindeer, this thing. I think, in my mind. Evil goat reindeer monster thing. The inner beast of the Antichrist. Or an Antichrist, I should say. This is a good omens Antichrist. Uh, Adam. Oh my god, my mind's gone blank. Adam something. No, it's completely gone. I should really look it up, but... Pfft. Another big gap. Another bash of the camera. Every time it makes it, does that wobbly thing, it's me bashing the camera. I'm not entirely sure what causes it to do that. I can only assume that because the image vibrates, it just goes... Oh, hello, a bit of white coming in here. So this is an acrylic white that I happen to have in, uh, I'm trying to do a little bit of an outline here. Yeah, 
There she is, putting white on white so she can wipe. Dear, dear, dear. But yeah, it's an acrylic white, otherwise, acrylic white, ink, liquid acrylic. Anyway, otherwise it won't work. You wouldn't be able to put it over the top of the black ink. As it is, it's all sm See, that may now makes it look like the dog's got two white butt cheeks, which is unfortunate. Not at all what I, not at all what I intended. But you know, sometimes you just gotta have two white butt cheeks. It's very unfortunate. I wonder if I noticed that. Can't remember if I do or not. So as I say, between recording this, uh, between recording the video. And recording the sa voiceover. Hey, there we go. Yeah, I know it's the butt cheeks. So a little bit of trying to get a little, a little sh bit of shine, where it's either metal or it's something reflective. Sad, really. I didn't do it. But I think this particular white is just gone really, really thick because I've left it out. Uh, and rather than being liquid ink, it's more sort of thick wood. Um, so it's not quite thick enough to be like normal acrylic paint, but it's not quite thin enough to be liquid, liquidy, inky stuff stuff you can use with an ink pen. I really must not keep forgetting my cup of tea. Today I've got Lapsang Souchong, uh, which always makes me think of the beginning of uh, Hey Ya, uh, and I don't know why. Uh, but no, the smell of Lapsang Souchong reminds me of Scotland. For reasons, if you know me, you'll know. Unless you don't, in which case, sorry. Just ask and I'll let you know. But it's very smoky tea. Very smoky flavour. I'm just putting, doing tiny little fiddles here, aren't I? Just being like, oh, this isn't quite right, this isn't quite right. Yeah. I don't know why I've done sort of tiny little weird human-esque ears here. It's kind of like some sort of Quentin Blake ear. You know, like on uh, Mr. Magnolia or... Uh, is it Mr. Magnolia? Mr. Magnolia has only one boot. He has an old trumpet that goes rooty toot toot toot. But he also used to, um, Quentin Blake was the one who did the illustrations for uh, Roald Dahl as well. So you'll know the sort of thing I'm talking about. A sort of scratchy thing. But his ears were all sort of little round nubs. I've only just noticed that now, so that's a bit strange. Just tweaking here, just a little tweaking, bit of tweak, tweaky tweak, tweak, tweak. I didn't colour it all in red. I think it kind of looks cool with the white bits because it kind of looks like it might be wet or or there's something about it looking slightly unfinished, I don't know. There's probably all sorts of reasons why I did it. Probably subconscious. I could probably figure them out if I wanted to. but. Hey, where's the fun in that? Why do you think I left them white? You tell me. Mm. Um, yeah, it's quite a short sketch. I haven't speeded this up at all, as you can tell. Uh, mainly because I don't know. I just felt like chatting to you guys, really, just fiddling on. It's quite good fun. Uh, 
really is red, that scarlet. Really, really red. It looks kind of suspect when you see it in that little egg cup. Yeah, I got the egg cups from... They were selling four packs marked down uh, of egg cups. And I'm like, ah, oh, those are perfect for putting more liquidy media in. You know? Because they're about seven centimetres high, maybe a little bit shorter than that. But they're only about five centimetres wide. So are they only five centimetres wide? Have I got a have I got a ruler around here? Da, 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 da. Uh well, yeah that'll do. Da, da, da. So they are doo, doo, doo. Yeah, so five centimetres wide by Oh no, they're five centimetres by five centimetres, that's quite good. At the bottom they're slightly they're also slightly wider at the bottom, so they've got quite nice little... They fit into the palm of your hand quite nicely, but they're quite heavy. So they feel like a nice thing to have stuff in. Yay, look at the min minster monster. The minster monster. There you go. There he is. That is the Antichrist in a teenager, maybe? Lol. No, that's not fair on teenagers, really. Most teenagers are pretty cool. Obviously it wasn't dark enough there. I took away that yellow bit. Obviously didn't like that. But yeah. Quite like the idea of people having a sort of bit inside them that's also grrr. And sort of running along quite placidly otherwise. Seeming very innocent. <gasps> and I'm going to be writing. I do apologise. My writing is terrible. This is me being very careful. And still, it will be pretty awful. Yay. I very care cleverly covered up that dot of ink by putting it into the word Antichrist. This is me trying to do an ampersand. Because, you know, heck, why not? Why is it taking me so long? Oh, yeah. Because the ink, they're not actually very good ink wheels. But they are very satisfying. The Antichrist and Dog. And I shall call him Dog. Bless. Anyway, this is pretty much over. Uh, thank you for listening to me bimbling on and I shall look forward to you joining me for the next one take care bye